Hey everybody, in this video, Maggie makes a walking stick for her mom. Her mom loves chickens. She has a rooster and several chickens over there and they take the eggs and use them, give them out to their friends and they just really enjoy those animals. So anyway, she's got rooster art in her driveway. She's got chicken art all over her house and so Maggie figured a great walking stick for her would be a chicken. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good one, y'all. chickens that she raises and she loves her chickens and she has a concrete rooster that's kind of cool looking and I made a hero cane for my dad so now I'm making a cane for my mom and my mom is only five foot two so this will be pretty short and basically I just modeled it I, I took pictures of her chicken her rooster and then made a drawing out of it and this is the drawing cut it out out of three pieces of wood the center piece is going grained this way the two outer pieces are grained this way and basically these are just scrap wood pieces um, this is aspen 
and these two outer pieces were a single piece of thinner alder that I had laying around, which is a little harder to carve, but it, it still works pretty easy. Anyway, and then keeping with my theme, we have the ever-present plumbing part that I just ground off all the stuff. It'll screw on to the bottom of that. This will go on there. Should go like that. And then Goodwill, or someplace like Goodwill, I found this little brass vase, which I cut the top off of, or the bottom off of, turn it over, I'll have it glued on there, and I'll cut off the rest of this and put a foot on it, and that will be her cane. And if you're wondering about this lovely little spot here, um, I was shaping it real quick because the alder's kind of hard. I was using rotary tools. So if you're going to use rotary tools, you do not wear the glove. Because if it hits it, it's going to catch it, pull the glove in. Bad. Similarly, if you're working from this side, stay on this side. I did something very unintelligent. I saw something I wanted to change on this side and I just reached through. When I did, I hit that, it started spinning all over the place. Basically scraped off the whole top of that finger and probably can't see it well, but it hit here and here. Took off this fingernail, the top of that fingernail, and the top of that fingernail. Of course the fingernails are no problem, just keep cutting those off, but that hurts. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Just working on my rooster for my mom. So, let's just change your time lapse. We can do this quick.
unfortunately for me, it is what makes this type of stick look the absolute best. So I just got to do a lot of it. It's going to come out really nice. sideboards on this are alder the center boards their center one board is uh, aspen which is real light so I took a stain and I just stained it to give it the same tone so that when I paint it will have a very similar even tone as the paints coming through because if you leave this as aspen and it's so white that it will show your colors different and what I have here is an extra piece of aspen. It's the other end of this board. And uh, I will test my colors here so I can see what color they're going to be when I paint them. And let's get started.
cover the seams, I am going to wrap it with leather and coat the leather in super glue. Make it all nice and hard and shiny. Get this thing where I want it to be. Working in circles is not the easiest thing on earth to do. <laughs> Loose? Real loose first. And I'll show you if I can get this right. I'm gonna put this. Hello! Anyway, this is the chicken stick. This is for my mom. I made one for my dad, so I decided I need to make one for my mom. Dora, be quiet. Anyway, this is her chicken that she has out on her rock out by her driveway and I made a drawing of that and cut it out kind of made it hand sized and this is the stick and now I'm gonna go give it to her there you go all right wow what do you think gorgeous did it come out pretty oh god yes that, ain't neat. that is gorgeous you Oh, wow. Look at the metal part in the middle. Oh, it's for me! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Isn't that fabulous? Well, what? You didn't even tell me. It's not my birthday. I don't care. It will be eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday's coming, guys. Oh, wow. I don't worry too much about birthdays. That's what do you think? fabulous. Oh, my goodness. I took some banking on how to paint him. Well, yeah, just carving's uh, easy. I mean, it's, yeah, but wow, paint a paint a rooster sometime. You, uh, you, it, I have painted roosters, and, and you, so. it, you, your imagination, yeah, because yeah. there can be any color. It, yep, or, or plain as as can be. Yep, that is fabulous. Cool. I'm glad you like it. Does it fit your hand good? Yes, it does. It should perfect. be perfect. It's perfect. Yep. Wow! And the tip slides on and off relatively easy. It shouldn't fall off at all, no. but it does slide off if you needed a new tip, which mm -hmm. I doubt because it's kind of a decorative cane, not really a daily driver. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll use it that way. Yeah. But, oh my goodness! Yep. My birthday's here! Yep. And Christmas. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. You can't you can flush fit it better than I yeah, had it, yeah, huh? but since I decided it was never going to be perfect and I was going to use the rope, I didn't make it perfect, but you didn't have it came to be out perfect. pretty good, so yeah, yeah I just fabulous. wrapped it in cord and I used Okay. And it was a short piece with the limbs still sticking out, so I carved all that, and someone had cut it off the top of a taller stick. Ah. Oh. So, because it was such a short... Okay, oh, don't, don't forget... Yeah. Like, subscribe, and, and share. share. See ya! Bye! Hey everybody! Thanks a lot for watching our video of Maggie making her mom her chicken cane. So, have a good one everybody. Take care. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We love your comments. Have a great day.